Hi guys, welcome to another video. My name's Andreas and I'm a real estate investor that I invest in several states in the US. My primary markets are Texas and Florida. And so today, what I wanted to talk about was how I changed my mindset years back to achieve success in all aspects of my life. I wanted to make this video because I believe that mindset is probably the most critical component if you wanna achieve new and great things in your life. So I'm gonna talk about four key points that I was taught and that I implemented in my life to do a 180 on my mind shift and achieve what I wanted to achieve in different aspects in business, in personal life, in health, spiritually, and the relationships around me. The first thing that really shifted my mindset was when I was at a company doing sales. It was a large group of us, it was about 20, 30 sales guys on the floor. And so someone that I was working with very closely actually brought it to my attention. Number one, to change your mindset is trying. There's no such thing as trying. Trying does not exist. That was the first thing I learned very early on. There was no trying to call a client, trying to follow up, trying to close a deal. Trying, the word trying or I tried was completely um, eliminated from our mind and our language. We were not allowed to try. There's no such thing as trying. And that really helped me change my mindset because in the real world, it's tough and you have to get results. So there's no such thing as trying that does not exist. It's like trying to walk across the street or trying to go to the gym or trying to get in your car or trying to eat. No, you actually have to follow through and complete those tasks, whatever you're attempting to do. But trying was completely eliminated from our vocabulary. That radically changed my mindset. It created discipline for me. And what it ultimately taught me was that you have to get results. There's no such thing as trying. I'm going to try my best. You can't try your best. You have to do your best. You actually have to go out there, take action and achieve results. At the end of the day, that's what people care about. That's what businesses care about. Governments care about, you know, wh whether you're going through school or whether you're even going to have a, a family, you know, you don't try to have a family. You, you actually go and you accomplish these things. So the first thing that really changed my mindset was there wasn't, I, I wasn't trying anymore. I wasn't trying. I was going after actual results, completely eliminated the word from my language. I don't use it to the same. And this is things that I teach my team. Also, there, there is no trying as soon as someone Back in the day, right when I was learning this, we had a room full of 20, 30 guys. As soon as someone started saying trying, you know, everybody jumped on them because there was no, there's no such thing as trying. The word is this, uh, you know, it's deceitful because you, you actually have to do the things you don't, don't try, don't have that mindset, actually have the mindset where you're going to go in, conquer it, have the confidence that you'll be able to accomplish it and actually do it doing and trying two completely different things. So that was the first mindset shift that I really had that impacted my life and helped me improve in all aspects of life, business, sales, relationships, health. I'm not trying to go on a diet. I'll actually eat better. I'm not going to try right in your mind. Tell yourself that there is no such thing as trying. You're actually going to do it. So that's number one. No such thing as trying. The second mindset shift that I had was behind the concept of waiting. Now, waiting is very popular nowadays in society. You have sayings such as all good things come to those that wait. Don't rush anything. When the time is right, things will happen and the right thing will come at the right time. All those things are very popular and very mainstream. And I don't agree with them because of the mindset shifts that I had. 
when I was with this group, with this company, I was going through a lot of mindset shifts. And the second one, the key one that I had was the concept behind waiting. It was prohibited to actually wait. Waiting is false. The time is, as I'm doing this video, the world keeps going round and round and round the sun. It's orbiting. There's always things in motion. There's no such thing as waiting. Waiting does not exist. And we were also prohibited from using the word waiting. There's no such thing as waiting. You couldn't say I'm waiting on a client. I'm waiting on the agreement. I'm waiting for them to call me back. I'm waiting for them to text me. Waiting does not exist. And I was actually astonished when I, I was going through this methodology, right? The mindset shift, because you're taught your whole time, you know, good things come to those that wait. You have to be uh, patient. Patience is a virtue. All these things that you grew up with. But in fact, there is no such thing as waiting. You have to be active proactive and you have to have a a in something in you that wants to have stir things up to make things happen there's really no other way to say it but when when i understood this and there was no such thing as waiting you have to play offense that's what life is about business sales if I wanna go create a new relationship, I have to do things. I can't just wait on people to come reach out to me. I have to go out and make communication, make things happen, send letters, send emails, send text messages, send them a personal gift, show up. But if you just wait and you send one email or one phone call or you leave one voicemail for someone that you actually wanna connect with, nothing's going to happen either. You can't wait, okay? Well, you know, for example, with my team, I tell them the same exact thing. There's no such thing as waiting. Just show up, send another text message, place another phone call, send them a handwritten letter, send them a gift card, some coffee, some bagels. I, I have to grab people's attention, but I can't just wait for people to respond because there's so many things going on around the world. You know, with COVID-19, with wars, politics, gas prices, People aren't, they're not gonna get back to you. That's what I learned very early on. I have to be able to command people's attention. There's no such thing as waiting. I have to take advances forward. But you can't just say, okay, cross your, fold your arms and then you're just gonna wait. That doesn't exist. So the second mind shift was waiting, completely eliminated from my vocabulary, from my mindset, from my existence. There's no such thing as waiting. And, you know, sometimes you have to be a little bit impatient. A little bit anxious i think that's healthy i genuinely do and when applied uh, applied correctly it's going to change your mindset it's going to change your results and i'm glad the second shift that i had was waiting there's no such thing it does not exist i think it's false there's just the the concept of waiting completely eliminated the third mindset shift that i was aware of and that really helped me improve in all aspects of life this was a, actually a very critical one because I wasn't actually even aware of it. And again, I was with such an excellent group of people that were interested in their improvement that one thing they pointed out was that you don't, you, you're not supposed to talk about what you want, not about your needs or what you want because the world does not care what you want or what you need or what your desires are. So I wasn't even aware of this. This third mindset shift was all about Everything that comes out of my mouth, all my communication, verbal, nonverbal, written, through the telephone, anything, it's not centered around you. There's a very popular quote by Sig Ziglar that says that you can achieve everything that you want in your life if you'll help those around you achieve what they want. So this mindset shift actually changed the way I communicated. I no longer talk about, well, I, I need this paperwork to work with you. I need this in order to move forward. I need this from you. Everything was flipped 180 degrees. I was now having communication and conversations geared around what people wanted, their goals, their motives, and I could still achieve what I wanted, but I would frame everything around what the other person that I was interacting with wanted. So I, I wasn't just talking about, well, I need this or, well, we need this. My team needs this. No, all that communication is negative. Talking about what you want, what you need, the world doesn't care. It actually falls on deaf ears. So the third mindset 
shift was I actually learned and implemented ways in where I could communicate with people, not talking about my wants and needs. And there were even subtle ones, right? It wasn't like, you know, very obvious, like, hey, I, I, I want you to do business with me. No, that wasn't what I would communicate. But just small things where you reframe it and you talk in terms of how you can help other people achieve what they want and what they need by collaborating with you, by working with you, by working as a team together and, and, and making it about unity, making it about accomplishing goals together, not just thinking about yourself. So really putting yourself in the other person's position, showing empathy, helping them achieve what they want and what they need, and in turn, you would accomplish what you want and what you need. But third mindset shift was never mention. There's no communication about what you want, what your goals are, what your desires are. It was all reframed to, towards what you could offer. Whatever is coming out of your mouth should improve other people's condition around you. Shouldn't be about you. If you, everything you want to achieve, it you can accomplish if you help those around you achieve what you want. The fourth mindset shift that I also had was, don't be yourself, and that's a very popular saying. There's a lot of nice sayings where it's like, be yourself, do what comes natural to you, etc. But what I actually learned with this company, with this group of people that helped me for my entire life, my entire life I always remember these group of people because they actually explained to me that you should be who you're supposed to be. You always have to keep evolving. Don't be yourself. Be the better version of yourself every single day. And when you are trying to build relationships with new people, with new clients, close more business deals, connect with other people from other parts of the world, well, you have to reinvent yourself every single day. If I'm working with a client and they're really passionate about motorcycles, and I don't know that much about motorcycles, I'm not gonna tell that client, well, I, I don't know anything about motorcycles, I'm not into motorcycles. Rather than do that, I, as a good salesperson and a, a better per and I me want to become a better person myself, well, I should take an interest on something that's important to my client. I should take interest on something that's important to someone that's important to me. So I want to improve myself as well. I want to get educated on motorcycles. Maybe I should go ride a motorcycle over the weekend. I don't want to be myself. I want to be who I'm supposed to be. So that's the fourth mindset shift. I have to improve myself, get out of my comfort zone and not be myself, but be the best version of who I'm supposed to be. If my client likes to go fishing and I don't like doing outside sports, but I can build the connection with my client by going on a fishing trip. Well, that's not me because if I was just myself, well, I wouldn't go fishing. I wouldn't offer to go on a trip, but since I want to be who I'm supposed to be, someone that's going to be able to build connections with new people, have new relationships, uh, achieve more sales, have more clients and share a bond. Well, that's who I'm supposed to be. So I'm going to get out of my comfort zone and I'm going to do things, not that I'm used to doing, not things that are comfortable to me, but what I'm the person I'm supposed to be to be able to interact with people from all walks of life. People from Florida, people from Texas, people from New York, from California, from North Carolina. These are all different people. People from Ohio, from Michigan. So I want to be the best version of myself. I want to be adaptable. I never want to do only what I want to do or what I'm used to doing or what's natural and it comes instinctively to me, but I want to be that, that person that's empathetic, that has an open mind an open heart is willing to take action, be in uncomfortable positions. And that's who I should be, right? That's what I, that's the realization that I have. I should be who I'm supposed to be. If my team likes going horseback riding and paintball, right? They like to do paintball. And you know, I'm, I'm not that sort of person. Well, my team's really going to appreciate that and enjoy that, that I took the effort and I took the time. We created a bond, even though that's not me. See, that's what I learned. 
Don't be yourself. Be who you're supposed to be in different environments. Adapt, learn, take action. So that was my fourth and final mindset shift and it was actually the most profound one. You can be whoever you want to be. It sounds cliche, but in different scenarios with different people, you can share things as long as that's who you are. Someone that wants to grow to keep learning, but don't stay the same. Don't be who you're who don't be who you are. Be who you're supposed to be. That's the fourth mindset shift that I had that was really profound for me. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe also because I want to connect with as many people as I possibly can here on my journey. I want to share the experience that I have that's helped me achieve success. I'm always growing, willing to learn, and I want to share my journey with you guys. I hope to see you guys soon on the next video. Thank you so much.